to the worship father. A vision of seven years that is now being born. Thank you for honoring the invitation. We are just vessels used as worship. I mean, in heaven, that's what it's going to be like. Just worshiping 24 7. No limits, no limits, no limits. Today, at the worship father, we need an act of prayer.
man of God is all I have. The man of God said, let me have it first. Praise the Lord. That same God you've been putting first in your life has sent me to you. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible tells us that the eye of the Lord moved to and from and again to show himself strong and mighty on behalf of them that love him. Amen. The eye of God is still moving to and from and again, even in our own time. He's looking, he's looking, searching for those whose hearts are rise up in worship unto him. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the widow of Zerah the Bible says that she never lacked unto the time of famine. Worship sustained her. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. When Jesus Christ showed up physically also, there was a party. A, a tax collector had a party, Simon, and invited them. When he entered the house of the tax collector, the Bible said there was a woman. The Bible, she is recorded and known as a sinful woman. Amen. Amen. The backbone of sin was broken at the days of worship. That woman saw the master and she went straight to his feet and began to do, began to pray. Because worship is about bringing down yourself, getting to the lowest point of, your, of yourself. Before the Lord. The Bible tells us of 24 elders who cast their crowns every day, day and night, worshiping the Lord. That's what worship is all about. Amen. So she went to the feet of Jesus and began to cry. Her tears were, you know, pouring out. And she used her head, the glory of the woman, and began to wipe it. Amen. The people around you were wondering, ah, this man you is a prophet. If you know that this woman is a sinner, it's not because you touch a prophet. And Jesus told them a story. He said there were two people who owned, let me say, in their own currency. Somebody owed 10,000, somebody else owed 10 naira. You know? And their master forgave the both of them. Jesus said, Who do you think will love him most? He said, The one he forgave 10,000. He said, So also, this woman owed her sins, we are many. They are forgiven. Praise the Lord. So it was at the place of worship that the backbone of sin was broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when the sinner, no matter how bad the sin is, goes down and worship before her maker. That person sin is forgiven completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the woman started afresh at the place of worship. Glory to God. That was why when the, 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 the American woman met Jesus and the world, a woman who had been living with different, different women, men, thinking she would get, 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 get comfort from men. And somewhere along the line, she was not getting it. She was going fully from one man to the other. So she met the real man. Amen. Amen. And she began to talk. You know, she had been a religious woman. She understood that it was a place of worship at their own time. They used to go to the mountains to worship. Praise the Lord, religion. Yeah, Amen. Was she was swallowed up, swallowed up in religion. Yeah. And Jesus Christ yeah. made that yeah. possible yeah. statement. He said, You people have been worshiping what you do not know. You are not going to the mountains and back to here and there. But we really in Jews, we know what we worship because salvation is of us. He said, God has been seeking for those who will worship him. The true worshippers will worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. God is seeking those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And he said, Now is. Hallelujah. Now is. Amen. Now is. You know, there's one thing that God does on planet Earth that is, you know, out of place. Everything that happens here is a God incident, and this is one of them. Worship Palo, praise the Lord. Worship Palo. We began from here, Palo, around something, something, Palo, but the Lord decided to step up the worship Palo. What do they do when they get to the palace? You know, in the evening, they go to hang out in the beer Palo to, 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 to drink away their sorrows, not so. And the Lord is established a place. Amen. You know, because they, 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 there's a comparison between the Holy Ghost and wine. He said, do not be drunk with wine bearing in excess, but be drunk in the Holy Ghost. So through the worship power, through the worship power, because this is just a starting point, God is going to be released out of worship palace in the name of Jesus Christ. Where people can say, I want to go to the worship power and get drunk in the Holy Ghost. And when they get drunk in the Holy Ghost, their life is going to be better in the name of Jesus. They want to come again and again to the presence of the Lord. And the Lord will do that which he wants to do in the name of Jesus. As I conclude, I want to tell us, that worship is one of my greatest weapons of warfare. Amen. When the enemy comes against you, you don't know what to do, just worship the Lord. Surrender to the Lord, just worship Him, and say, Father, I come to you. Because in that place of worship, God will tell you what to do. Amen. Amen. And because obedience is the ultimate point of worship, you can do what God tells you to do. And when you do what God tells you to do, you will surely receive a miracle in the name of Jesus. Sometimes instructions can be stupid and look foolish and stupid. Like just go ahead and do it, and you will receive your miracle. Typical example in the children of Israel, when Jehoshaphat was king, 
Mighty kings, mighty countries came to fight against him. The king didn't know what to do. He went to the Lord and God said, Send forth the, the, the singer. Put all the singers ahead and just worship him. Hallelujah. And I used to worship the Lord. The Bible says that God did an accomplishment in the camp of the enemy and they began to fight themselves in the name of Jesus. And that's how the church of Jesus Christ is, is winning. Let me not say going to win the battle. It's winning the battle against all the evil arrangements in this country in the name of Jesus Christ. And we set our hearts to worship the Lord in our different time for us. Those militant camps that devil thinks is training people they are going to the Holy Ghost camps. The Lord will get into their camps and convert those young people unto himself in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are here to start what God has already started in the spirit. We are to continue in the name of Jesus Christ. So once again, we are welcome to the Holy Ghost family. Worship family. Where we worship God in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. Let's forget about that song. Concentrate on me and worship me. Let's forget about that Concentrate on me and worship me. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on Him and worship Christ. Oh, worship Him. Jesus Christ, I love you. Let me just share a bit about where this worship hour is coming from. I was working. Yeah, about some years ago, 2015. And he just felt to my spirit and God was saying, set up a worship parlor for me. And I said to ask a lot of questions. Normally when God talks to me, I ask a lot of questions. And he's dealing with me on that. Ask a lot of questions and all of that. But then I still kind of sense it wasn't time yet. So I wanted God to tell me when time was. 2015, then 2015, I got married and went to Lagos. And I thought I don't know Lagos, where am I setting up a parlor? All of that, all of that. Let me cut the story short. Two weeks ago, God kicked me on my butt. Sorry for my language, but that's how I felt it. I came back from church and I told my husband, this time, this time, that's how I was. I said, I came, I came back from ministry because I didn't stand in the choir. I came back to my seat and I said, God said so clearly to me, we claim your time. The time is now. And I wrote it down and God gave me days. He gave me dates and the different cities for worship parlor. And then he told me the people that are going to be at the worship parlor, the ministers are going to be said like so yeah, Mr. Peter, he gave me all these people, and I did not know how to deal with it because I'm like, these people might give me a bill. <laughs> Surprisingly, I called out, oh, sure, I'll be there. Mr. Peter said he'll get back to me. Next day, he said 17th July, 4 p.m., I'll be there. The shocker was I was at the airport coming to Abuja. And I met Mr. Kilo for the first time. I was sitting on the bus. And when we got talking, he was with his feet, and then we got talking, and then he said he was just coming back from a concert. So I told him about just so casually, I told him about this that was happening. I said the first the first like gospel we can set it up, just talking to him. He just said, I will be there and I will not take a penny. From you. And that was the first time I was meeting you. God bless you. God bless you. And the reason was on the bus with me, and I was like, Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh God, I just said this. You know that? <laughs> so that was, I just looked at God and I was like, This is how you move. This is how you move. You connect people. Let me share the final part because this is a faith move. Because he gave me a name for worship parlor in London. I only knew yesterday that my brother, Mr. Hoffner, was going to be here. I'm just telling you, I'm putting you on the spot. Wow. But his name is in my book. Wow. What you just did now, he's the best name for London. Oh, wow. I just knew yesterday. I just knew yesterday that he was in town. I said, you saw my message. I was like, what? God? So you want him to be at the first? And then be at the next. I have all the names here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so bold to like call names because God has shown me that they will be there. So I just want 
you to know that God is intentional about it. That's right. Baby. And when He gives you a word, promise it. Yes. Stop calculating. I did a lot of calculation, and this is just took two weeks, and we're here at the worship hall. From 2015 to 2022, just two weeks, and we're here. People would think I've built this relationship for like maybe we are very close, talking every day. I haven't spoken to Mr. Peter in a while. He just like I'm amazed. I just wanted to share that to let you know that. And then the top, top, top icing on the cake is I did not think my husband was going to be around. But today he showed up and surprised me. So I know that God is here. And I know that if there's anything you're expecting of him, because you are the our dear member of the worship hour, he will meet you at the point of your need.
the tabernacle, you know, we have the outer courts, the inner court, and the holy of holies. Right there in the holy of holies is something very special called the mercy seat. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes. When Jesus died and he entered into that holy place, it was his blood that was spilled on that mercy seat. Yes, yes. For you and me. Oh Lord, we thank you for your loving kindness and your compassion that burns not you every morning. It is because of your mercy that we have not consumed. Oh, we are the world since then. We have shared the past. We have shared the past. We have shared the past. Thank you. 
or had four fractures. Four fractures. And then my um, shoulder sucked. Um, she was not saying she the next day. But before then, the man, the surgeon can tell that you have two options. First of all, you need to check. You recommend that I should not do it. And also, you can also do POP, but because of your weight, you know, I don't have insurance. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Where the spectrum is God said my life. And the bills, my bills were paid. I said there was overflow. Overflow. God is just. So you know, I I always tell people, even when I go to the market and I see some women, you know all the women in the market, they are doing praise worship. Sometimes I'm drunk during the Sometimes I might just be where in the store like I'm I'm seeing. No prayer for no worship. And you're not doing it because of gain you get. That's your bank, your bank is God's friend and I can do it to myself. Thank you. 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 Thank University teaching hospital in Bado for over 21 hours. Wow. At the 22nd hour, when my, both my family came for my body for burial, that was when God did what he knows how to do there. <laughs> I have seen God's goodness. If I tell you that the tibia and the fibula had issues, believe me, it has. The Achilles tendon. Got ruptured somehow, but I'm still standing straight. Wow. My mandibular jaw got broken in like three places. But you can't wait, I will tell you I have foreign body on my face. My left eye was stitched by a 92 year old man. Yes. I have gone through serious medical processes. But I proved medicine wrong because God is faithful. Hallelujah! I was telling the top boss because we went to a rehearsal and we were coming back in the morning at about 5 a.m., very close to your own time. But mine was a bit earlier. And when we passed toll gates in Bangkok, facing the doors, I slept. And I was the driver of the box. So at some point, when somebody that was not sleeping saw that I was I was on track, but I was not very fair. I said, you have, you have to play that, play that. So the truck was actually on the road when I ran into it. And I used myself as a traffic point. But you know God in his mercy. Because he wanted me to meet her. I can tell you that I can tell you that medicine medicine cannot explain how I am standing straight. Um, Delta cannot tell what the way because for some 16 hours I was in the arrange. Trying to correct the mandibular. But in all of this, what the priest? I had a cut on, on this leg that they said could not eat until after 48 months or more. But I was grafted for it to eat at 48 months. I said, I must do a grafting for it to give that end. If, if not, four years, four years. But if I don't do the grafting, 
they are not sure and left to not be anticipated. I was the state I was. But I'm a policeman. I wish to become Inspector General of Police. If they cut this leg or if I do something and I start to leave, how could they know I start to leave? Leave me. And I follow God. And I can tell you that I have gone to the conference of places with this body. And nobody could contest the God. If you want to engage me, let's go outside and run in. So that you know that I am still very fit. God is so good to me. So that makes 12 years. Wow. So I, I was supposed to hold the program and work, but she said, as a sport, let me come through this. And later, in this week, we watch it from. But please, can you stand up and join me to see? Awesome. For the one you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. Alaruto la para, oshu mare ma teo te.